everybody, Serenity here. We got our first episode of our Columbus Blue Jackets franchise mode here on the PS4, guys. So anyways, I had a vote. I had lots of stuff that I was doing. I was been busy these past couple days uh, making the thumbnails for this video for these videos, uh, editing some of the rosters, doing some ESHL with the BC Bros. And you know what? Finally, I put aside some time and I was able to start up this franchise mode with the Columbus Blue Jackets. So this first episode, guys, let's start uh, going into the franchise mode. Um, I will be showing you some of the teams around the league, what I made, some potentials and overalls. Um, if you guys have any suggestions that you want to see for the GM mode, I will be redoing. Uh, I may redo this if we want to edit a couple more players. We're not going to get to any simming today. I'm going to try and make this a somewhat short but somewhat long video, like maybe 10 minutes. So uh, here, let's go to Columbus. I'll do all my usual stuff that I will set for the for the Columbus GM. Uh, if uh, let's see. Um, yeah, so, and then we will also be looking a bit at the Columbus Blue Jackets roster. So, I guess the reason I picked them was partially the vote, but, uh, I just would love to be able to build around lots of young guys that, uh, although in real life they're going crazy, um, realistically, I don't think they're, they're going to be that consistent, uh, in the, like, it may be this, it could be a one-year thing, I think, um, they could just be having a good year. I think it's pretty likely that if they make the playoffs, I mean, they have a good team. Don't get me wrong. I think they could go far in the playoffs, especially with guys like Bobrovsky. You got Felino, Dubinsky, lots of veterans on this team, physical guys, Hartnell. Uh, and then they got solid defensemen in Jack Johnson, Savar, Jones. So, um, wait, uh, trade difficulty hard. I just wanted to double check to make sure I'm not messing up anything. Nope, that should be good. G gameplay sliders. Let's go turn off the injury occurrence. Uh, to very low actually what the heck am I even doing this isn't even gonna matter I will probably end up redoing it if you guys have any suggestions for the settings uh, that's what I'm putting them at um, and so what else can I show you I'm just trying to think I just want to make sure because I sort of know knew what I was gonna do coming into this video um, free agents I can show you the free agents I can just I only edited one guy I think it was James Wisniewski so he's not 85 and he's not over overkill free agent to go after because I mean realistically he's pretty much he might even be done his career I'm pretty sure he's playing in Switzerland right now but I mean I don't know uh, potential wise there could be some guys in free agency that we could even sign I know that some of them like I believe Josh Jacobs and uh, Jacob Doherty they're in free agency so they uh, I could just, if you guys really want, I could try and get them to go back to their original teams. I don't know. Uh, but I think right now, let's just, I let's go check out the Columbus team. We'll do roster moves, uh, do best lines to see what the team would look like. Uh, one big thing, guys, Corpus Allo, he's a medium elite. I always see him get to 90 overall in every single GM mode I play or watch. Um, so we could put him in the backup role. I think that would be uh, the smartest idea. But... Um, uh, should we lower his potential just to m make it a bit more challenging? Because realistically, in real life, I think he played quite a few games in the NHL last year. I don't know if he's an elite goalie for that reason. So, I mean, you guys can let me know. If there's any other potential changes, Jones, he's a medium elite. Ryan Murray, we could make a medium elite. He was a second overall pick, but I think that's okay because we do have medium elite. Zach Wierenski boosting him up a bit, top six defenseman. Uh, could make him a top four because, I mean, realistically, he is playing with Jones. Um, Prout, Natavara, uh, another defenseman that's on their roster right now. We could bring him up for the first season. Uh, Harrington. We got actually quite a few defense prospects. No one's studly, just the top guys that are in there right now. Uh, Jones, uh, Wierenski, and maybe Murray. These guys, Savard's pretty much done his, well, there's a chance, but I don't think he's going to grow too much more. Uh, right wingers, uh, Josh Anderson. Uh, Grinder Clarkson. One thing that actually is good with this team, we're going to have some cap problems with young guys coming up and guys like Clarkson and Scott Hartnell. We may need to trade some of these guys, even and retain some cap. I mean, this is going to be tough. That's why uh, I am excited to do this GM mode even more because now the, the, the little element of we need to keep everybody under cap and be smart with this because... Uh, we could actually screw ourselves into making sure that we don't end up signing uh, Seth Jones. That's just an example. He has already signed long-term, so it's not a problem. Uh, Winberg, he's a nice young player. Probably not a first-line center, so we could have to go and trade back for Ryan Johansson. Or we got this guy, Pierre-Luc Dubois, 76 overall. I could boost him up more, so then 
Uh, he is more suited as a fourth or third line player if we want to put him in the uh, in the NHL. But I mean, realistically, he's not in the NHL, so that's I mean, 76 you could put in, but we'll we'll just keep him in the juniors. I'm thinking for year one, Sedlak uh, probably will put him uh, down in the AHL. Campbell, we could bring up Campbell. We'll see who else is there. Left wings, Milano and Bjorkstrand, both top six forwards. Nothing elite. I know Milano is actually a really good prospect, but I mean, Bjork Strand too. They got, there's some quite, this is a young team. So, I mean, we have lots of options. Uh, let's, I think that should be good. Let's go best lines and see what our lines could be looking like. Uh, Sadlak, that's captain in the AHL. And now, so see, you look at this. We have a good team, team a deep team, but we're, we don't have elite talent. There's no one over 87 on this team. So, uh, realistically, I mean, I would say Jones eventually is going to be there. Uh, we could make Wierenski move there. Um, I think Wierenski is going to have to play in the top six role just for now uh, because, I mean, he is a top six defenseman. We could make him better, but I think 83 is fair. Um, he could grow into a top four defenseman, but I think it's better if we put uh, Savard and Jones on, like, the top line and then Murray and Jones, uh, sorry, Johnson and Savard on the top line and then Jones and Murray there, uh, just to play them in their roles so then they hopefully grow. I'm really hoping that uh, Jones develops into, like, a 90-plus player, but I've only seen that a couple times, even though he's medium lead. But Brovsky and Corpusala, we're going to have possibly a goalie to trade in Brovsky in a bit, but we got an elite goalie in him as well. So uh, we got to be careful with our team. Uh, the AHL, we have quite a few uh, forward prospects and defense prospects, but nothing elite except um, uh, Dubois, of course. And then uh, goalies, Merzlikins, we have some prospect goalies, but no one steadily, again, aside from Corsalo. I mean, we have something that we can work with for every position. Maybe not a top line forward. I mean, Sad's pretty close, but I mean, he is a, fourth line, a first line forward with elite potential to still get better, but uh, the only guy I see getting better, Dubois. Um, he's younger, Jones, Wierenski, and Corpus Allo. Those are the guys I see possibly getting to 90. Um, but it just depends. I think we need to... I, I would like to ask you the question, are we a rebuilding team or a playoff team? I think we can be a playoff team, and I think we should try and be a playoff team just to make it more fair. We could go for Nolan Patrick, which I did up as uh, overall in this game. So he is almost... and He's pretty much NHL ready. We could have a top-line center in him. But I'm going to let you guys... Uh, uh, figure out what you're going to do with that. Sorry, I'm just flipping between screens here. Uh, let me quickly show you every team, uh, their top players. I'm not going to go to the very bottom just because, like, there's all these guys. Uh, if there's a guy that you don't see or you're questioning about, again, just leave a comment. I am 100% open to any ideas of e editing players overall or potential to see them get better. Like, guys like Lindholm, Low Elite, just to make this more entertaining and give teams even better prospects with players i could make lindholm a medium elite so for lots of low elites in this league i know like domi domi uh here i'll give you an example uh here i'll give you we'll do overall for the top players and then potential um but i mean you look at this for if we're going for like value uh max domi if he's a medium top six his potent his value is right here in real life domi's value is a lot closer to there maybe even more but, um, I mean, oh, by the way, I did create some uh, college guys. And uh, outside of NHL top prospects that have been drafted, Keller, Besser, Samsonov, and some, I think, Colin White, and possibly one other guy. Um, but anyways, uh, yeah, just like I edited some of the low elites and uh, medium top sixes that maybe deserved a better potential boost. Sometimes they do grow, but just to make it fair, so then comps, and, like suddenly they want to trade Domi, they can get something of fair equal value for him. Um, and I mean, there's tons of prospects and overall guys. So let me quickly show you all the overall guys and prospects on each team. That should, that should cover all the stuff that we need to do. So there's potential. Uh, Pasternak, I made him much better. I kept him as a playmaker, though. I've seen some people put him as a sniper. He still has a great offensive category, so it doesn't matter. Krug, I could up him a, a bit more if we really wanted to. Uh, Chara, I moved down to an 87. Marchand to an 88, but I think the roster update had him as higher as well. Uh, I, I hope there. I was wish there, there was a faster way to do this, but this is what we got. Uh, Alexander Nylander could up him. Overalls. Uh, I don't think I touched Buffalo too much. I could move down Kulikov because actually Buffalo has been struggling. I know Kulikov has definitely not helped them recently. Um, Carolina will go overall, and then potential. There you go. Some low elites there. 
again you guys just let me know anything uh, I might speed up this process no, no 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 I'll just keep on doing this so I'll let you some of the other moves I made I made Sam Bennett medium elite he was a top-notch prospect so or he is a top-notch prospect and he's still getting better so uh, that's what I got Panarin kept him at 86 just because you know I mean he's I think it's more because he's playing with Kane he still has great offensive categories and could still develop uh, B grass again could up him okay so um, keep on going with prospects overall players there you go if you guys want to skip this portion of the video um, I, I can't do anything for you if you, if you just want me to skip it completely Detroit they want to get rid of Zetterberg and Cronwell again this I mean even the guy like Zetterberg we could look at getting trading for him if we want to win now you guys can chime in on that if if we're a rebuilding team or playoff team again playoff team I'd say um, I wish there was a faster way to do this I could just speed this up guys but I'm not going to I'm gonna keep on going I'm gonna work my hardest and I'm gonna try and uh, make sure you guys can notice some of the top players and prospects um, oh, and Habs fan, I did do you a favor, and I made uh, Lekkonen, uh medium top six, 81 overall. Same with uh, Radulov, I believe, he, yeah, 86. So there you go. I upped them a bit more. Uh, shout out to Habs fan. Stellar commenter. Always lends lots of comments. I love reading comments, guys. If you have any suggestions at any time, please, please comment it away. Overall players potential players can I talk can I talk about something how about the Canucks want to talk about the Canucks let's talk about the Canucks they're in a bit of a winning streak here and one thing I actually really do like is the fact that you know um, as like a somewhat of still young and rebuilding team I mean they're getting all these wins I still don't mind if they make the playoffs I don't understand when people are saying well they have such a bad team or I mean they they should be doing a rebuild I mean just for the for just to be fair to the Sedins, they did their time. They took it. They gave us a chance at winning the the Stanley Cup in 2011. And I mean, now everybody's just saying it's impossible. But I mean, th stranger things have happened. Columbus is starting to take over the league, which is insane. And I mean, I'm I'm not dissing Columbus at all. I knew they had some talent there. I didn't see any superstars on this team. I mean, Felino's a great player, sod. But I mean. Uh, I, right now, I just think it's that they have a really deep team to to look forward to. And shoot, guys, I did forget the goalies. So uh, I will do something shorter for that. I, I have a better idea. And uh, potential, again, potential guys overall. There you go. Hopefully that, oh, almost, almost done every team. And there you go. So that's all the teams. We're just over 10 minutes. I spent that time. Let me quickly go to free agents, and then I'm going to go to contracts because I think I should be able to flash through each team's goalies. Uh, potential. Uh, there's some guys again. Jacobs, Darity, if we should put them back on their teams. I don't know. Uh, overall, guys, there's some guys we could look for depth. I don't think Columbus really needs much. Goalies, players, uh, Ramo and Emery, and some prospects. Not too much there. And now, finally... Can we go and check out the goalies? Let's manage contracts. And that should be good. Here we go. I edited it, by the way, guys, for future years, I did edit tons of the prospects. And I probably will still take a quick look at that. Uh, I used a draft site uh, or for mock draft site or something. I forget what it's called, but I used it for, um, for checking out all the... Uh, prospects that are going to be in the first year draft again it's not going to be exact but we're going to try and make it as realistic as possible while still adding some funness to it so i'm not going to go to prospects i'm just going to go to each team's overall goalies there you go if there's anything any suggestions even potential wise uh laner 85 there uh eddie lack crawford 90 uh varlamov i moved him down should bobrovsky be lower maybe he's just do having a good stint there uh, these are my own rosters if you guys did not know it's the latest roster update it was about December 1st but the actual latest one was December 15th these only ones are the Defe December 1st ones but edited so again it's kind of a boring episode for you guys I understand that for the people who do really want to see some changes this is the time to to ask about them and uh, get uh, get things straightened out 
because I do want to start the GM mode as soon as possible. Years wise, if we can uh, be a, a Stanley Cup contender in year two or year three with all the guys, young guys developing and possibly making some trades, I think the max the max I would be willing to do for this, unless we go into complete rebuild, uh, five years for this GM mode. Um, I'd like to go three or five years because I really do want to do another team um, along with Columbus. I just before NHL 18 comes around. I know, but I mean, I know you guys are probably thinking that's crazy, but I mean, Colorado, we did that since September. This is already like January. So you guys can, again, chime in on things. Uh, anything for the GM mode, guys. Let me know what you guys think of the team choice, all that stuff, rosters. And I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Yeah, 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 yeah.